everyone, Ara here with Tipster Friday. This Friday, I've got something extra special planned for you guys. It combines my two favorite things in the world, Polaroids and business cards. Check it out. I know, super cool, right? We'll be designing this in Photoshop, but before we get started, here's a few things you should know. At Print Place, we only print standard size business cards. However, you can get the Polaroid shape by putting a custom 2 inch by 2 inch trim on a postcard at no extra cost. To make things a bit easier on you, I've made a template for you that includes the Polaroid border. Follow this link in the description for a free download. Alright, let's get started. When you open the PSD, you'll see the pre-made border and guidelines. The guides represent the trim edge of the final business card. Start by dropping in your photo and sizing it down to fit the card. Now, using the marquee tool, select the area of the photo you want to crop and then click the layer mask button. Now, let's add a film grain. Go to the filter gallery and find film grain. Set the grain to 2 and the highlight to 2 and the intensity to 1. Hit OK. Now let's start creating that sweet vintage Polaroid color. Add a curves adjustment layer by clicking here. In this window, go to your reds, create a gentle S curve and punch up the reds a bit in the highlights. Next, go to the green and again make that slight S curve. Then go to the blue. Here's where we will really start to get that Polaroid look by taking the blue out of the highlights and punching it up in the shadows. You don't have to follow these exact instructions. Play around with it until you get something you like. Next, let's add a slight yellow cast to everything. Add a solid yellow color adjustment layer and choose a yellow that isn't too intense. Now change the blending mode to soft light and the opacity somewhere around 20%. Now let's add a vignette. Create a gradient adjustment layer and select a black to white preset. Change it to radial and then click inverse. Now change the blending mode to soft light and the opacity to 75%. This creates a killer old school vignette that's darker on the outside and slightly brighter in the middle. The last step is adding a drop shadow to the border layer. Under Blending Options, click Drop Shadow. Set the angle to 0 degrees, the distance and spread to 10, and the size to 30. Click OK. Now all that's left is to design the other side. I'll leave that part up to you. Before you submit the file for printing, save it out as a JPEG. Then reopen the JPEG and switch the color mode to CMYK. You may see a slight color shift in your photo, but it shouldn't be too huge. Save the file and you're ready to go. One last tip. For your paper stock, I suggest 14 point uncoated. It will give a sturdy weight to the card and really emphasize the vintage feel that you're going for. That's all for this week. I hope you like your super cool Polaroid business card. No need to say thanks. It's seriously no big deal. Don't forget to follow the link in the description to download a free template to get you started. See you next week!